Andy, was that quite a tough afternoon for you as well as the players today? I think so, yeah, yeah. We we approached it in the right manner. Um, I thought we looked a little tired, I'll be honest with you. The first 20, 25 minutes, we looked a little bit fatigued. Um, we didn't sort of have that zip and energy about us, which you need in a, in a championship game of football. Um, but I didn't think there was much in the game, if I'm honest with you. Um, and then obviously the goal... Corley had to go for it, it go, deflects off him and, and, and goes in the back of our, of our net. But that's, that's, the, that's football and that's the way things are going for us at, at the moment. Do you feel sorry for yourselves? Absolutely not. We have to keep going. We got in at half time. We recognise what we've got on the bench and how the, sort of the energy and the impact that they can make. Um, and unfortunately, we give a, a really, really poor goal away. We have to, we have to defend set players better than that. First phase, second phase, third phase. All first contacts from them, and if you don't do that, you're always going to struggle. We actually brought the three subs on, and, and then I thought they made a real impact. Um, they created a bit of energy and a bit of impetus in us. We, we, we had a bit of momentum, but we've got to work the keeper more. I thought we got in some good areas. We, we didn't work the keeper. We had a great opportunity just before half-time to make it 1-1. Probably as good a chance as you're going to get, um, and they're the, they're the small margins. Um, but we kept going, we, um, we, we kept going, we kept believing. Uh, I, I believed if we'd got a goal, we'd have put them on the real back foot, would have made them nervous. But that never, uh, that never came to, obviously, to fruition. So, uh, again, we just said to them there, we, we have to come back in tomorrow, we have to keep working hard, we have to keep learning and, and, and progress from there. Energy comes from strange places at times, doesn't it? And I think a lot of energy would have come into the team if after that first 10 minutes we'd have found ourselves 1-0 up because that looked to be the best time to score. Absolutely, and we had, we had opportunities. Again, we, we, had, we had four shots from out of the box in the first half with the wind. We didn't work the keeper. And for me, they are opportunities. Test him, see what he's like. Um, and they're the, little, they're the little things. As you say, they put one cross in the box, bang, it's in the back of our net, and they're the small details. But we've said to them there, work the keeper more. All of a sudden, you get a bit of momentum, they get on the back foot. And we didn't do that. And then and the one chance just before half-time, that's, that's a massive chance in a game of football. Right, listen, Ryan's a great kid, and I thought the ball and the run was absolutely top draw. His first touch, he knew what he's just said. He would have, would have done things different, absolutely. You're coming at 1-1, obviously, and then all of a sudden, things look a little bit different then. Um, energy's a little bit higher. Um, momentum's a little bit more in your favour. But listen, that's what to be. That's football. We have to, we have to go again. Um, but yeah, the second goal's really sort of lifted them um, and give them that confidence and that momentum. So that's a disappointing thing for us. Gave them the opportunity to shut up shop. We got forward. Greg Doherty, and you touched upon the three substitutions. Doherty for me looked the most energetic. Would you say he's the one that potentially replaces Slater now he's suspended? I think, well, listen, it's, I don't think it's about individuals. I think it's probably about going forward. When we've got two game weeks, we have to be sort of very, sort of, we have to think about what we're doing in terms of who plays. Listen, every, I've just said in there, every single one of them plays is top draw. They're absolutely great pros. They give everything all the time. Sometimes you don't play because of form. You play because of, of, of resting players and bringing people in. And that's probably, we didn't start the game with the, with the sort of same... Um, intensity that we had on, on Wednesday night um, and that's as you say I'll take responsibility for that um, that's my job to sort of decide who plays um, and, 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 and learn from that but listen I thought, I thought the three that came on again it's, it's quite difficult for the three that are coming on at the moment because they're always chasing games as you say nil nil or one nil down you, you're bringing them on and it's a, a real have a real go and pin them back early but it's, about, it's a squad game, they're all important and they'll all have a massive impact from now to the end of the season. Um, Jacob, ha, I, I imagine that was quite a tough afternoon for you and the rest of the defence? Yeah, it was really tough in fairness. I don't feel like we had loads and loads to do. Um, two soft goals again, it seems like second phases of crosses we can't deal with at the minute and balls get flashed across our box and sometimes they're hard to defend but we need to try and start stopping it at source a little bit better. But yeah, it's a, it's a really frustrating afternoon when we feel like we've not been caused that many problems. I think a couple of people have suggested that they weren't possibly the strongest opposition this season and in the end we, they've battened down the hatches and defended well in the second half. Yeah, I think um, the, it was in the playoffs last season I know they lost a couple of players but, um, but I think they're a decent team at home. I think they've got some good players and... Can't take any team lightly in this league. Um, we definitely didn't do that. Just 
unfortunately they was on the day and, and we wasn't. You've, you've touched upon in the first answer about the way the goals are going in. Um, obviously it's hard, maybe hard to compute in the heat of the moment when you're on the pitch, but when it comes down to training, how much do you think as a player you can suggest to put things right? Yeah, well, we're doing the right things in training and, and that's all we can do. I think we've just got to keep doing that that and sticking at it and believing in ourselves. We've really had a tough rub of the green, um, but it, it's really frustrating and hopefully we can turn that tide. We've got a full week now where we can get a lot of work in with, obviously, Doss as, as the, uh, the manager. So, yeah, um, we've just got to stick at it and, and dig deep. How are we finding him as the interim manager at the moment? Yeah, really enjoying it. Um, he come in and and set the way that he, he wanted to play and we've all bought, bought into that. I feel like with a lot of, with a fresh week this week, you can get more of his ideas across and we can build on, on the game next week. But yeah, I definitely think that um, he's, he's had a real positive impact on, on the team. There'll be a couple of changes, I imagine, next week. But what do you think is the first thing to fix going into the match against Birmingham? Um, just to stop going 1-0 down, um, having given ourselves a mountain to climb, um, I think we've just got to try and be more resolute and just so much harder to beat. I feel like we've we've fallen off that a little bit and we need to find that that mentality back and, and then hopefully things will, will click into place. Yeah, because when you get into a bit of a rut, as we are now, I imagine it gets harder and harder as the weeks go by. Definitely, it's tough. Um, it's, it's tough inside the dressing room trying to motivate a team that, that's lost five in the last six, it, it can be tough, but there's a lot of good characters in there and we all believe in ourselves and we're all going to stick at it for the fans and, and hopefully we, we can start climbing the turbo.